today we're going to do a lab called Hess's Law. It will involve really doing colorimetry experiments with three different types of reactions. As in the previous lab, I have set up LogarPro with a temperature probe. So for part A, the first thing we have to do is measure out 15 mils of water. Now, we need to put the 50 mils of water in the calorimeter. After doing that, next we have to weigh one gram of sodium hydroxide. Now, we have to move quickly with sodium hydroxide because it is hygroscopic, which means that it, it absorbs moisture from the air as it sits exposed to the air. First, we need to get the logger pro going and start recording the initial temperature of the water that is in the calorimeter. Well, it looks now we have, uh, that we have a steady temperature being recorded, so at this point I will add the sodium hydroxide and continue stirring well so that the energy that is released by the process is evenly distributed throughout the water and so that we can get a uniform temperature reading. Now that the temperature has uh, started to drop, we can start the collect stop the collection of the data. It is your job now to go to the logger program that has been provided to you and from that extract the initial and final temperatures for this particular part of the lab. Okay, so this is part B of Hess's Law Lab. In this lab, we're going to actually measure the energy released by the uh, mixing of uh, di two dilute solutions, one of sodium hydroxide and one of hydrochloric acid. So this is sodium hydroxide solution and I'm going to pour 50 mils. Okay, uh, if it is not exactly 50 mils, you will need to record what it is. Next, I will pour 55 mils of hydrochloric acid. Again, if it is not 55, please record what it is. So now, I already set up Logger Pro to record the temperature for this particular re reaction uh, of part B. First step is to pour the sodium hydroxide solution in the calorimeter and begin recording the temperature of the sodium hydroxide solution. Once again, once I have a steady value of temperature, this would be the starting temperature, of course, and we are there now, I will add the hydrochloric acid solution and continue recording the temperature. until I reach a maximum. Again, stirring vigorously is important so that the energy is spread out evenly throughout the solution and the uh, temperature recordings are uniform. 
Well, even though I do not see the temperature going down yet, uh, I have reached here a steady high temperature. And therefore, I will start recording the data. You've been given a, um, a graph, a logger pro graph. It is your job now to go there and extract from it the initial and final temperature values. So now we are at Parsi of Hesse's Law Lab. In this lab, we're going to mix water with a solution of, sodium, of hydrochloric acid. And to that mixture, we're going to add solid sodium hydroxide. So first, I will measure out 50 mils of water and 55 mils of hydrochloric acid. That's water. And this is the hydrochloric acid. OK, so now I'm going to pour these two liquids in the colorimeter. First the water. Actually, over here, and then the hydrochloric acid. And okay, stir that. And now I will weigh one gram of sodium hydroxide. Okay, so now I'm going to get Logger Pro going and recording the temperature of the solution. And once again, once I have a steady value for the temperature of the mixture that I have inside the colorimeter, I will add the sodium hydroxide. Okay, I reached a steady temperature, and now I will add the sodium hydroxide. And continue to record the temperature change in this mixture. Well, the temperature now has begun to drop, so now we're going to stop collecting data. It is your job now to go to the, uh, the logger prof graph that has been provided to you to extract the initial and final temperature for par C and to use all the information that you have derived from this lab to uh, complete a report.